breathe in for yourself. I mean, you look at China. They, I, I don't think they had um, emissions like uh, regulations for a long time, and they had the worst air to breathe. Like, oh, I remember seeing. I don't know if it was just a parody or something like that, but I remember seeing people selling air, sell like selling clean air, almost, almost along the same lines as that is that movie. Uh, I forget what movie it is. I don't know the name, but it's almost like a Pixar movie. It's one of those Dr. Seuss movies. And it's about the Lord. Oh, it was the Lorax. Yeah. The Lorax and, and all the trees, the guys kept cutting down and they live in this plastic city and they all have to buy instead of those big 10 gallon drums of water, they're 10, ga- 10 gallon drums of air. And it's just recycled fresh air because all the air is terrible to breathe. That'd be so terrible if that's basically what it comes down to. I don't think it will. I just think people are just going to start dying. We're growing weird, weird deformities in their bodies and stuff. All right, let me stop being super dark. Like I said, no matter what your feelings are on it, I think it's really good that they're putting these regulations in and it's only for the better. It's for it's for the better for everybody. So if you guys go on Instagram or Facebook or even Google, just type in trash tag. You'll see a lot of people and all the things that they're doing. And like I said, I think those are some of the best challenges. We need more challenges like that, like challenge hashtag. There's also another hashtag like uh, random acts of kindness. You know, you don't always have to videotape or Snapchat or take a photo of all the good things you're doing because a lot of people, a lot, a lot of that stuff gets thrown into kind of like a garbagey clout chasing format. But if you guys are gen- genuinely doing something that you think is good, I think uh, we can we can start some really good challenges. With that being said, we also have the, um, you know, talking about the environment and getting cleaner and stuff like that, because ca- for some reason, California got hit with so much rain. I work outside and I deal with a lot of it and it's just disgusting it's so ridiculous but for the first time since 2011 california is finally drought free it's been seven years since since they had the drought since we've been in a drought and for the first time since 2011 we're drought free and i like i said i work outside and i work with a lot of planes and stuff like that and for some reason i just keep seeing a ton of butterflies flying around and i'm just thinking you know what what's going on is there like a something that's going on in the atmosphere that i don't know about but actually apparently according to the recent reports from the u.s national drought mitigation center california is experiencing uh some sort of drought since two, december 20 of 2011 which is 376 consecutive weeks in total like oh my goodness but anyway they're getting hit with a boom of butterflies and wildflowers so the more butterflies, you know, we spoke about this a few podcasts ago about the more bugs you have, the more plants you have, the greener things will be. So California is looking really green and it's looking really nice. Usually you can look up in the hills and it's super dry and it looks like mountainous and stuff like that. But everything's green and everything's lush and my allergies are kicking my ass. You can see, I don't know if you can tell right now, it sounds like I'm a little congested because I am. I'm trying my hardest not to sniff on this mic, but I thought that was really cool. You know, something worth noting. Once again, we, I don't, I don't know what's contributing to all the rain and stuff, but big bears getting a ton of snow. So more things are, are are working themselves out. I hope for the better. Like I said, I'm not a, a scientist or a meteorologist, so I don't know if this is from something bad that's happening, but something good is coming out of it. And once again, this is the limelight highlight where I like to highlight good things that are happening. So after all that rambling and bambling, I will finish coming up to the end of the podcast today. I am actually heading out next week. I will be on a flight 16 hours to Japan, meeting some friends. There I go. I sniffed on the mic for those of you who didn't believe me, but, uh, I'll be, in Japan, crossing that international dateline, I'll be super jet lagged. So I'm hoping to get another podcast out as our regular scheduled programming. But if not, 
it won't be too far behind. Just a disclaimer for next week. For those of you who've been rocking with us, I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. I've been getting a ton of shares. Our download numbers are getting up. They're skyrocketing. All right, I'm exaggerating. You know, you got to fake it till you make it a little bit. They haven't been skyrocketing, but we are on a steady increase. And that makes me feel really good. So to leave you guys uh, with this podcast, um, I'm going to leave you. I know I've been kind of uh, slacking a little bit on the whole format of the podcast. Like I said before, I'm trying to figure out the ins and outs of this podcast. But I'll leave you with my favorite quote of the month from Gloria Steinem. And uh, before I get into that quote, if you guys don't know who Gloria Steinem is, like I said, this is also March, you know, you know, happy St. Patty's Day, but it's also Women's History Month. So Gloria Marie Steinem is an American feminist journal and social political activist who became nationally recognized as a leader and a spokeswoman for the American feminist movement in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Uh, Gloria Steinem was a columnist for New York Magazine and a co-founder of Miss Magazine. A little history for Women's History Month, so shout out to that legend, uh, Gloria Steinem. And this is a quote from her that I want to leave you guys with. And it goes, I quote, Dying seems less sad than having lived too little. End quote. Once again, that was Gloria Steinem. I'll let you guys dwell on that. Uh, If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, leave a review. It'll help with the ratings in iTunes or whatever platform it is you guys are listening to. Write me in. Write to If you guys want to get in contact with me directly, email me at limelighthighlight at gmail.com. I'm getting stickers printed. I'm getting merchandise made. I'm getting a website created. Uh, I'll give you all those details within the next few weeks. Um, if you guys want to find me on Instagram and on Facebook, both of those, I am also at limelight highlight. And with that being said, this has been the limelight highlight podcast. Once again, I am your host, Jonathan Rosario, be humble, be helpful, pay it forward and be the best. You go out there, spread positivity, spread the love and create, be, be that next viral challenge, doing something good, not something stupid. With that being said, uh, all right, guys, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully at our at our regular schedule, if not a little later than that. But I got some stuff coming up for you guys. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Peace.